Welcome back. And uh, continuing with our um, series of uh, learning Selenium IDE, um, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to take a working uh, script or a working test case um, in Selenium um, IDE and convert that into something which we would like to do in case of an RC server or in case of a web uh, a driver. All right. Um, it's uh, if you are watching my videos, uh, the first uh, few videos uh, we we talked about how to create this uh, uh, test case, um, and I walked through different scenarios in there where we have to migrate or we have to move on to what is called a Selenium RC server because of uh, the lack of uh, uh, the parameterization of data um, in uh, Selenium IDE and also because uh, uh, Selenium IDE is uh, restricted to only using Firefox as the browser. What if, if your application needs to be tested in the other browser? So there we have identified the need for us to move uh, to the next version of Selenium, which is the Selenium uh, RC server. Well, uh, before moving there, um, how about the investment uh, which you have already made uh, in this um, IDE, Selenium IDE, and if you want to carry it over onto your Selenium RC server, how would you do that? Well, it's a very simple and easy way of doing that. For that, uh, we have to get into options, right? And uh, when you go into options, uh, make sure that you have this enable experimental features. You have this checked, right? If you do not have it checked, what happens is uh, um, when you when you try to convert it into into something by going into format, it it is not allowing you to do that. So if you happen to see this on your screen um, or on your application when you are uh, um, trying it out, uh, this is what you got to do. You got to go back into options and you have to enable the experimental features. Once you do that, it opens up the IDE to convert your uh, code into all of these different options you have. You could either convert into a C-sharp web driver code, a C-sharp um, RC code, or you could convert it into any one of these uh, JUnit 3, JUnit 4, remote control or a web driver. Okay, uh, our course is going to be in um, Java, right? So we have to use the latest version of uh, the Java tools, uh, which are um, out there, the um, testing framework tools. So JUnit 4 is one of them. Now, the fact that I'm choosing a remote control is because uh, remote control uh, or the RC server happens to be one of the most popular uh, flavor of Selenium which is being used in the industry. Even though we could go ahead and then use the web driver, um, I would be doing that in the later version of my uh, free uh, video series. But right now I'm just going to be showing you into the remote control um, flavor of Selenium. Well, uh, uh, we have a choice of either going with JUnit 3 or JUnit 4. I'm going to be going with JUnit 4 because that happens to be the latest of all. So uh, let me click on that and then show you uh, what it's going to pop up. So it is giving you a dialog box saying that, uh, hey, uh, you know, it is going to change the format. Is it okay? This and that. And you say yes. And uh, here is what you, we have uh, um, the the code uh, uh, which gets generated uh, when uh, when you try to convert uh, the IDE into what is called. Uh, uh, the RC server. All right. So now this is how you're going to going to take the code from here. This is how you're going to take the code from here. You're going to copy the code, and you would be placing this code into what is called Eclipse, right? And uh, Eclipse is uh, the development tool, Java development tool, because this code, what you see here, it's 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 the Java code. So this is the code which we will be putting into Eclipse and trying it out with what is called an RC server. So that will be my next video, which I'll be presenting it to you. Uh, so in this short video, I have shown you as how to take how to take uh, your um, your code, which was uh, which was uh, in this in IDE. We have taken this 
test case we converted this test case into RC server one more time the way we're gonna be converting that is whatever your working uh, test case is you're gonna go to options you're gonna go to, to go uh, to format and you will go to J unit 4 and click on that and it'll give you the dialog box you hit ok and here is my code so I'm gonna take this code and in the next video I will be explaining you each and everything uh, what these line is and eventually uh, we will be running this script into what is called an RC server so I'm gonna start uh, the RC server series uh, and um, you can see how we're gonna be taking this test case and then migrating it over there and then um, you know going line by line and and doing the automation testing uh, using selenium RC server well thank you again for being a part of this uh, presentation uh, if you like what you've seen here uh, we uh, we suggest you go and take a look into our site trainingright.com. Again, a lot of free videos for you in Selenium and QTP. Um, and most of the videos will point you to my YouTube um, site. Uh, if you if you just go on the watch and learn, click on that. I have tons of other videos in here. There's uh, videos on manual testing. There are, uh, there are videos on uh, Selenium training videos, QTP videos. So when you click on any one of those, uh, that should uh, basically bring you to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will be putting out a lot of videos in there, um, and those are going to be free. Um, so either you could be learning uh, from my videos on YouTube, or if you really want to be a part of this course, uh, you could enroll for the course. Our courses are very cost uh, um uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're affordable and, uh, you know, very uh, competitive when it comes to competition. Um, you know, you could uh, do a, a Google search on online uh, training on QTP and uh, Selenium and you would find that we have uh, um, the most economical pricing out there. Um, so mm, we hope to see you back on another video. And uh, meanwhile, if you're a student of this course, I want you to go and uh, keep practicing um you know log into your account and uh, go to those free um or, or rather your 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 training videos and then watch them and then practice them and uh we'll see you again in the next video thank you for your time